this is the Backbone PlayStation Edition controller for iPhone. It's officially licensed from Sony and today we're gonna review it. The PlayStation Edition means you get the new white plastic. Beyond that, it's essentially the same controller we got months ago in black plastic. It has a hefty price tag of $100. Is it worth it? The short answer is no. But let's get into the details. This is the box it comes in, officially licensed PlayStation product. That hopefully means they put some PlayStation type of features in it instead of just the white color. Let's open it all up. Adapter for iPhone 13 Pro. Quick start guide. And here's the backbone controller. There's also a safety guide in here and that's really it. This controller doesn't need to be charged. It forms a wired connection with your phone and sucks a bit of power from there. Setup should be straightforward. One thing I don't like here is that I have to remove my case every time I'm using the backbone controller. It's a minor inconvenience. Without any case though, it does fit in really well. As soon as it's plugged in, your phone's gonna ask you to download the Backbone Plus app. The app's great for recording gameplay footage and organizing all your games and apps in one spot, but it does cost $50 a year after the initial trial. That's a big no for me. False advertising here, you do need a PS5 console to play PS5 games. All of that's done using the remote play feature. And even for cloud gaming services like Xbox Game Pass, Stadia, you actually need to be subscribed to them separately. So the $50 you're giving to Backbone, it's a bit of a money grab. Now the good thing is you can use this controller for all of those services without the Backbone Plus app, which is exactly what I did. First up is PlayStation 5 games. That's meant to be really the main selling point of this PlayStation Edition Backbone controller. We're gonna start up the remote play app and connect my PS5 console. Make sure remote play is enabled in your console settings. It does take a while to connect, but once it does, you have access to everything on your PlayStation 5 console using remote play. You do need a really, really good internet connection and your console is essentially turned on while you play. All the PS5 games are accessible here, even though this backbone controller doesn't have any of the dual sense functions. There is no adaptive triggers here and there is no advanced haptic feedback. You can even play Astrobot, but it's a bit of a dead experience without the DualSense features. This controller also doesn't have the PlayStation button, so you can't quickly jump back to the dashboard. For that, you're gonna have to use the on-screen menu. I mean, they spend the money to officially license this controller. They could have at least added that PS Home button on it. The touchpad, well, that's also missing so you'll have to rely on the on-screen one. Overall, you're just better off connecting your PS5 controller to your iPhone. Even a PlayStation 4 Xbox controller will work just fine. You're still gonna be missing the adaptive triggers and advanced haptic feedback, but having quick access to the dashboard as well as the touchpad are helpful. One limitation of PlayStation gaming on your mobile is that it's all done using remote play. You need an actual PS5 console. Even the cloud gaming library you get with PlayStation Plus Premium, you still need to remote into your console to cloud game kind of defeats the purpose of cloud gaming. But thank God there's Xbox Cloud Gaming where you can game without a console. And the back one controller works just fine with that. You can also use this controller for mobile games like Apex Legends that's running right here. Even Call of Duty Mobile works just fine. So overall, here's the positives. The build quality seems decent. The grips aren't as good as the PS5 controller, but they are comparable to the flat Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. It's plug and play and easy to set up. Overall though, there's just too many negatives. It's a bit pricey at $100 US. I actually paid 140 Canadian for it. The Backbone Plus app is now behind a paywall. You're just better off getting something like a Razer Kishi which is cheaper and their app is free. My biggest problem is that they wasted the PlayStation license opportunity. There's just no added features for PlayStation. It's just another generic controller. So yeah, in my case, I'm gonna be returning this. 
Hope all of this information is useful in helping you make your buy decision. For the rest of the video, check out some gameplay on iPhone 13 using this backbone controller.